first thing and the main thing that I talk to people about is leap size. Um, to me, to be you know <clears throat> competitive and consistent throughout every jackpot and rodeo, I have to have a pretty good loop size. Um, when I go to clinics or when I do lessons, a lot of the time I see people using too small of a loop. Um, the reason that I use a big loop is so I can feel the tip of the tip of the loop. I want to feel weight and I want to be able to pull that loop around and have big swings the entire time. Um, one of the reasons Smarty was made to have a bigger neck and be built bigger than your normal dummy is to be able to stay big, stay open, and finish a run like a breakaway wants to, to finish it. So when, when I build my loop, you know, my hand is placed right over the tip of the loop. And then after I'm finished, usually I can pull that loop up and it, and it comes up to my shoulder. That's, that's the size that I like. Yes, I start smaller and then I feed, but after I feed, I've got a pretty good sized loop and I've got weight to be able to make the things work. as you deliver the loop correctly, it's gonna come around the neck and it's gonna stay on the calf. Um, if you have too small of a loop, there's not a lot of weight in your loop. Um, you don't have control of the tip. Essentially, all you're doing is, you know, twirling it in a circle, I like to say. Whereas if you have a big enough loop and you have weight on the end of your rope, you can pull it around and you can keep that power and weight and momentum all the way to the neck. You know, if you've got the power, momentum, and your angles right, when you deliver, you're going to have a big crew come all the way around this dummy, and it's going to come tight around the neck no matter what happens. When you use a bigger loop, and when, and when you're pulling it around and have weight on the end of it, it's going to feel heavy. You know, it's, you're going to have more weight in your loop, you're going to have more weight on your arm, it's going to feel heavier to you. But that's a good thing. Um, you want that weight, you want that momentum to be able to pull around all the way around the neck. You know, the Smarty was designed to have a bigger neck, you know, a bigger area to throw at. And that the reason was is to, to stay open, keep a big open swing, and stay open all the way through your delivery. And to do that, you have to have weight. If you use a smaller loop or too small of a loop, you don't have the weight and you don't have the momentum to stay open and stay, you know, your delivery, keep your delivery open all the way around the neck. Uh, to me, that's that's the best thing about this dummy and to be able to work on going fast is a big open swing, a lot of weight on your swing, and to be able to finish open and then finish strong so you can have a good pass run. When I go to deliver my loop, I want my rope to come around the neck just how it's coming around in my swing. I'm pulling my swing, and when I go to deliver, it's just another swing down around the neck to the dummy. When that happens, my rope comes on from right to left. And when that happens, that's what makes the curl come all the way around the neck. If you deliver too straight onto the dummy, or don't have the pull and the momentum on your swing, you might hit the ground first, it might curl low, you might get a back leg, a front leg, or in turn, it might run through your loop. You know, the most common thing you hear is my ropes or my loop is too big my calf ran through but to me it doesn't matter the size of your loop if you throw the correct delivery the curl is going to come all the way around the neck and it's going to give you time to get your slack and be sharp around the neck um, like i said your swing you're pulling your swing around from right to left and when i deliver it's the same thing right to left around the dummy from the right side of the neck the curl comes around top of the neck and then it ends up tight around the neck 